All right, everybody, here we go again with another lot from Goodwill via eBay. This one, the Goodwill of Maine. Uh, nice little batch for 37 bucks plus 20 bucks in shipping. Let's see what we got. So we got a bag with some deck boxes in it. So hopefully deck boxes have some okay kind of stuff in it. Um, let's take a look here. We've got a Rise of the Titans. There's definitely some Titans I'd like to see in this. Bulgari, sure. Green and black cards, there's some good ones out there. Uh, looking close into the lot, uh, I did see that there were a few rares shown. It was hard to see all of it, so hopefully hidden in some of these sleeves are a couple of bombs to make it worth our while here. Um, mostly what you see though is kind of some common and uncommon stuff. Uh, there, I think there was a check land there. I can't remember. Wooded Foothills, that's what it's called, right? So. Um, Unbreathing Horde, nothing big, but that's rare, so we'd like to see that kind of stuff. Um, cranial plating is an okay kind of common there. So we're going to get into this, and there's a foil rare. That's always nice, too. We're going to get into this and see if we can make our money back about 57 bucks. All right, so let's take a look in the box. All right, up close here is the package from the Goodwill of Northern New England in Gorham, Maine. Let's open this up. this bag right here all right let's do a little sneak peek and then we will turn on the scanner and start scanning it up correctly let's look at this yeah there it is rise of the titans so may not be a complete deck here did someone pick out all of the winners and then leave us the, the trash that's very possible we got a blade wing there's a rare nothing too big so it's kind of Dragon, mono red deck. Oh wow, it uh, was not a standard deck. All the way to Born of the Gods. An agility from Mirage, that's interesting. Um, the, oh yeah, T Scourge of Valkyrie, so there's a mythic in here. Wow, like the sleeves are like peeling apart. Like this saw uh, quite a bit of play. A couple of Scourges. Uh, oh yeah, some Sheevan Dragons, so this is kind of definitely a bit of a starter deck. And maybe they don't have any of the really good cards we'd like to find. Scared to Cur Ridges is pretty decent. Yep, so like a bit of a mono red dragon's deck. Kind of a starter kind of deal here. So if a bunch of Scourge of Val Valkyrie, there's a Legion Loyalist, so that's a, a solid card right there. So there's a little bit of hope here. There are some kind of cobbled together I guess that would have been a modern legal deck at one point uh, would not have been standard legal at any time so we'll get into the rest of these and we'll do the scanner and we will try to get our money back here and I'll be back soon all right everyone it is time to start going through these boxes and scan up the prices and see if we can at least break even about $57 what I paid for these so see what we got when we sneak peeked into this box earlier it didn't look super promising in fact it looked like kind of like a starter cobbled together over several time periods so we got some commons and some basic lands we're gonna throw those aside there something like a Rorix blade wing might have been handed down over a generation of magic players to kind of a new player or I don't know it was found in the the bulk bins at the LGS, something like that. It's 51 cents. It does not make my no, over 90 cents piles what we're going for, but it's a bulk rare. I'll pull it and uh, throw it into the bulk rare pile, even if it's like heavy play like that. That's how it goes. We are going to do that for all of this stuff. Uh, anything under 90 cents will not count towards the total. It will come off at the end. Horde Smelter Dragon is in that category Scourge of Valkis it's a mythic is it over 90 cents I don't know if it sees much play at all a dollar 47 so that one counts that's gonna go towards the total and we did get I think a full play set in this box is what I had seen before Bing Bing a couple of scourges there
We got a Scourge of Cur Ridges right here. Definitely kind of like a basic Dragon's deck with that one being uh, a little bit more. So there we go. All we got to get to is 57 bucks this time. Can it be done? A little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe we'll get it. Dragon Whelp. Definitely a starter kind of deck here. Nothing wrong with that. New people can open packs and somehow get expensive stuff and not know it. I've seen that happen in the past. There's another Scourge. There we go. Hopefully my new, um, hey there we go, Legion Loyalist. Hopefully my new camera setup is uh, working for everybody. So you can see the cards a little bit closer. There we go. Legion Loyalist for a one drop, one one with haste. It's got battalion whenever it attacks. And then two other creatures attack. All creatures you control gain first strike and trample spell in a turn. It can't be blocked by creature tokens. This one I think is pretty solid. It's uh, 474. It has come down a bit from its high. You know, cards go up, they go down. Uh, but that's kind of our best pull so far. Rooftop Storm. Hey, Cemetery Reaper. That's solid. So we got a little zombies deck going on here. Buck 99. Cemetery Reaper. A little zombie lord here. Pump your zombies and do some stuff with them. There you go. 332. We're on our way. Potentially. Oh, there we go. So Death Baron. Uh, has been reprinted recently, so it was a, a good card that was, I think, pushing 20 bucks at one point. Good condition. Near mint condition. Down to three bucks. Well, hold on. Let's switch the edition. This is the Shards of Alara original. Yeah, 375. Cards go up, cards go down. Hi. Hey, there we go. Lord of the Undead. A, uh, another one that's a pretty good... Well, it's a Zombie Lord. 8th edition version. Got some play to it. There we go. 13 bucks for a Lord of the Undead. It says 9th. This is actually 8th. Let's switch it. A little bit less. But there we go. We'll show that one off over there. Vault of the Archangel, a couple of these. So this is what a Vault deck. They put... Wow, that's pretty decent. Let me need to find the Dark Ascension. Yeah, three ninety nine for the Vault. So those are actually solid.
Phyrexian Metamorph probably would have been the best card in this deck for quite some time, but it's now been reprinted enough that it's pretty much done for. Oh, the new Phyrexia version is still seven bucks. Probably not to last for much longer. Koldotha Forge Master, another card that just got reprinted. I don't think it was much even before that. Maybe I'm wrong. 447. Mirrors, I got a Mirror Matrix and another Mirror Turbine. Matrix is a little... Okay, just two deck boxes remain. This says Zombie, but we already saw a Zombie deck. Here's some Golgari, Woodland Cemetery. 581, that's pretty decent. Another Woodland Cemetery. But none of those other decks had any souped up land, it didn't seem. So kind of nice, this one's even got some check lands. Deathrite Shaman. Nice mint condition. Uh, I think it's been banned and unbanned. I'm not sure exactly where it's at right now. It is $4.99 though. Another Shaman. All right, what's in this deck? Eldrazi, interesting. Green, red Eldrazi, that's interesting. Pathraiser, okay. So the Deus of Calamity. It's a buck. Ulamog, man, can we find an Ulamog himself in here? Couple bucks for the path raiser. Couple of those. Seek the horizon is nothing. And then we're fogging it. Not of this world. You're teasing me here. Couple of those. Zonda Refuge and some mountains. This is it. This is the last little stack. Is there some kind of big Eldrazi in here by chance? Mountain, 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 mountain. The refuge, the forest. Got a foil forest. Just our land base here and it's nothing super exciting. So that's it. No big surprises at the end. This is the, this is it. So I'm gonna, Take off everything that was under 90 cents. We'll see what I actually ended up with. Okay, there it is. 50 cards were over 90 cents. So it ended up with a total of 118.67. Just a few slightly interesting cards. No big heavy hitters. This was a 
person that stayed on a budget when they played. Looks like they had a lot of fun, I think, putting t decks together based on what they had available, just probably picking through bargain bins and even cards from that were out of standard. They would just put together a deck that they liked and kind of build on it maybe. I'm not sure. So nothing of super big value, but um, it was kind of fun to go through and ended up with enough value to at least kind of double my money here. So that's what it's all about. Uh, I'll probably end up throwing a lot of this stuff onto eBay. Check out my eBay store link down below. Um, like and subscribe and do all that good YouTube stuff. So, Tragic MTG saying catch you later on the next one.